Merry Christmas, everyone! The day we have been waiting for is finally here, and it's time to celebrate because we know what Christmas is really about. Christmas means celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. Last week, we talked about when Jesus was born, in a place where the animals were kept. The night Jesus was born, there were shepherds living in the fields near Bethlehem. The shepherds lived outside. Their job was to keep the sheep safe. These shepherds weren't exactly considered rich, famous, or important. They slept out in the open fields and probably made their dinner over a campfire. One night, as the shepherds did their job keeping their sheep safe, an angel appeared before them. The angel had life-changing news for the shepherds. Check it out! The angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will be great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Luke 2, 10 through 11. The shepherds must have been completely stunned. It must have seemed impossible that an angel would appear to regular, ordinary men like them. And the angel had the most amazing news. The promised savior had been born. The shepherds were probably just beginning to get their breath back when suddenly it seemed that heaven opened up. A full choir of angels appeared, filling the sky. Can you imagine how sparkly the sky must have been with all those angels lighting it up? And they didn't just fill the sky with light, but also with music. Listen to what they sang. May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. Luke 2, 14. Then, just as quickly as they had appeared, the angels returned to heaven. The sky dimmed, stars twinkled faintly once more. For the rest of the world, it probably seemed as though nothing had happened. But the shepherds knew the world would never be the same, and they knew they had to get to that baby. The shepherds hurried to find Mary and Joseph, and Jesus lying in the manger. It was just like the angels had said. There he was, the newborn Messiah, the Savior of the world. After the shepherds had seen Jesus, they knew what the angel had told them was true. They couldn't keep this news to themselves, so they went around telling others what the angel had said about Jesus. They couldn't wait to share God's message of peace with everyone they knew. Of course, everyone who heard what the shepherds said was amazed. Meanwhile, Mary kept everything that had happened in her heart to think about over and over. God chose to share the best news ever with a bunch of regular, ordinary shepherds. That shows us the good news of Jesus is for everyone, just like God's peace is for us all. So today, I want to celebrate and remember that God's peace is for everyone. Our memory verse is for God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3:16. Let's say that one more time. For God loved the world so much that he gave us his only son, John 3:16. Let's pray and thank God for his dear God. Thank you for the peace that you've offered to us all. When we put our trust in Jesus, we can know for sure that we are forgiven and that we have a relationship with you that will last forever. Thank you for sending Jesus to make that peace possible. Thank you for showing us that we can trust you no matter what. We love you and pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.